welcome back to a new silent seeing video on YouTube. 200 years ago, a wooden sailboat left Norway for United States with immigrants. 2010, somebody built a replica of the boat. And Silent Sea, together with our partner Ocean Vault, has installed electric motors and electric propulsion system in that boat. So I will give some background information and then we go on to show the boat inside and outside and also add some technical data. Our founding fathers back in 1814 made our declaration of constitution and it was based on the ideas and principle from the French and American Revolution a few decades earlier. Also the lack of available soil was one of the reasons when a Norwegian family got five or maybe even ten kids the older son got the farm and the rest had to find a solution. This coupled with lack of freedom of speech and lack of religious freedom led people to look at the other side of the Atlantic. And in the end, 800,000 people left Norway. And today, if you look at the family trees, there are close to 5 million Norwegian Americans in the US. These people 200 years ago were not afraid of the sea, they were brave and they set the course out in something they didn't really know what would meet them in the other end. 4th of July, Independence Day in the United States, 1825, the boat set the course for US. It sailed to England, to Madeira and ended up in New York City 98 days later on. There were 52 people on the boat, men, women and children. And when they arrived, there were 53 people. So they had a baby on board. And the captain was arrested because he carried too many passengers. But luckily, the American president pardoned the captain. So now, 200 years later on, 4th of July, the boat is again sailing the same route to New York. And to bid farewell, three generations of the Norwegian royal family is there to follow the boat out the fjord and wish them Godspeed and bon voyage. system. So when the replica was finished in 2010, they were quite forward thinking. They actually installed electrical system that took electric motors basically from the industry with a frequency transformer. After a while there was a limited storage capacity in the, pro the lead acid batteries. So they pretty much used it as a diesel electric system which means that the diesel generator always have 
to be on and produce power to use the electric engines. some technical information about the schematics and speed and range of the new system. So the first thing we did was upgrade the motors to double effect, 2 times 45 kilowatt. Then we installed lithium batteries, 93 kilowatt hours. Here we have newly installed diesel tank. We have one phase 230 volt shore connection and 400 volt three phase connection. So then it can charge about 11 kilowatts from shore. Bilge pumps, 24 volt fuse cabinet, motor switchers, motor waker. Multi plus. Here we have six chargers and inverters, each eight kilowatts, four hundred volts, three phase, and a small multi plus. Exhaust and four isolations transformers. When it was a strong headwind, the boat only could move two knots. And also in a harbor, when it was tight and windy, it was quite difficult to maneuver. So we really needed to put some heavy power into the boat, torque and stopping power. So here you can see the result. When we are sailing, we can choose to let the propeller spin and then put power back into the battery. This way we can keep feeding power into the system on the boat. Now we come into the chart plotters. Door. There is a modern refrigerator and then we have a gas oven for some cooking uh, and they have an induction plates coffee machine induction oven
Hello, hello. Kan vi hjelpe på listen eller? Ja da. Vi går ut som bare det. Nå må vi jo spørre her han det. Han har lunsj. Han står her han. Ja. Da er vi ferdig med vår jobb. Goodbye. Restoration. Ha en nice journey.